today we're going to take the rear tire off of my wife's electric bike this is a rear hub motor these things can get a little bit complicated so i wanted to step through the process eventually you're going to get a flat front tires are relatively easy as long as you got the tools rear a little bit tougher because you've got wiring for your electric motor heading down to it and there's something called a torque washer needs to be placed in the right spot when you put this together so let's step through it real quick so first thing you want to do is shift your bike into the highest gear right you want it up here into on this bike it's gear number eight and then with that it's going to move your chain down into the smallest cog is called but to really get it to work pedal the bike it's now into the smallest cog it's going to make taking the wheel out a lot easier so next thing you want to do is take your battery off we're going to be flipping the bike over and uh don't need this extra battery plus you don't want to have accidentally turn on while you're working on the rear there next you're going to want to work on your handlebars as we flip the bike over it's going to be on the handlebars we don't want it to mess up your display this one just easily rolls back but i see i gotta move this mirror out of the way so we're just going to move this guy out of the way but like so so let me back you up we'll flip the bike and then i'll lay out the tools all right so let's talk about the tools real quick i always carry an adjustable wrench and I carry one of a couple different styles of multi-tools. This one is actually pretty dang nice, pretty inexpensive. Um, or I love the compact nature of my Crank Brothers M19. Live with this thing on most of my bikes. Those are the primary things. What I would also suggest, carry a tube, carry a pump. There's no reason to go biking and have the tools if you're not able to actually change your tire your tube fix that flat you got all right first things first you've got to get your wire disconnected from the main harness it's held on can be a number of ways i've got this one held on with a zip tie all right we got that free unplug it all right let's get our rubber cover out of the way where you can use either your adjustable wrench or both sides you want them loose we'll get this out and show you some things in a second because we got our chain in the smallest cog at this point it'll give us a little bit more room to pull the wheel out this guy is tough it's a great example so pull your derailleur back a lot of times you can do that not get all greasy opens everything up luckily i can put my foot on the rack on this bike and start working this loose right you can see why i want that derailleur way open then we can get it out let's take you over to the table here let's talk real quick about the nuts and washers on your axles these axles have a flat spot on each it goes in this order outside in your axle bolt your washer your torque washer and then another spacer washer this spacer washer create the gap between the frame and these gears the actual cogs if that wasn't in place these things would rub on the frame the torque washer grabs onto what's called the dropout so that's that fitting on your frame and it stops the motor from moving and puts that force into the road this next washer is to go up against the bike and then you tighten it down with your axle nut let's put it together remember that orientation on your torque washer import a little trick your adjustable wrench you can reposition the axle a little bit you want the keyway up right put it on your smallest cog watch your wires here and again you want your axle i can see it already my torque wa torque washer already turned grab that wrench spin it around make sure your torque washer that keyway is up all right so we got that in place and then it's just a little bit of finagling you got to get it into your your brake disc brake over on the other side start dropping it in all right i got it in start finger tightening everything up all right 
tighten everything up. All right, so let's go through this again. We've got our washer closest to the cog. We've got our torque washer with the keyway is in the down position since the bike is upside down. It's, you can see it here. We've got our washer and then we've got our axle nut. <clears throat> All right, let's put our cap on. Next, make sure your wires are correctly aligned. There's arrows here. Arrow, arrow, align those arrows. Put your wiring back together. And then reattach your wire. Do not leave this thing hanging loose. I will take zip ties with me. It's just a perfect little tool for fixing things when you're on a trip. If that wire gets caught in your spokes, in your gears, you got more problems than a flat tire at that point so get in there nice and close snip it off so that is taking the rear tire off of an e-bike